Oh, wonderful stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Uh, I'm Jack Van Breen from Guitar Showcase, and we're here making music again with Joe Band, the Woo. winners of the 2007 <laughs> Last Band Standing on KFOX Radio. Very good on that. Thanks so much. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and it's a great pleasure for me to have you all here. Thank you for having us. It's, uh, I mean, Jeff has been a fixture at our store oh, yeah. for <laughs> forever. I remember meeting him in passing like a couple of years ago and he's always in the corner playing a different guitar every day <laughs> and I was always running around so I didn't get a chance to hear him until I saw you guys at the Can Jam and you just blew me away. Oh, uh, thanks, tone like that in a guy so young should be illegal. Oh. No, he's awesome. Yeah. So <laughs> tell me a little bit, how'd you guys hook up and get started? Because, you know, under 18 is really young to be this good. So oh, yeah. you must have been doing this for a few years? No, we actually just got together in June or July of this, of Last, Last year? year, I guess, yeah. it was so over the summer. Eight months, nine months, something like that? Yeah. Is it really long. doing long. math? Wow. I guess. I don't even know. It was a short time we sort of jumped to the K Fox thing, but Jeff actually was with Patrick and James before I came into the mix. But I knew Jeff through theater for a long time, and I called him. I was like, hey, we should do a band. He's like, yeah, come over. And like, <laughs> everyone was all set up, so <laughs> the mix just sort of worked. Was, yeah, <laughs> very cool. Just fell into place like so that. you were playing with Patrick and James before? Yeah, we were jamming. We had, yeah. About how long was that? Two weeks. Like, yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys hadn't really started. So playing. they were a band. Yeah. 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 Very cool. And uh, how was it with the last band standing? Was that kind of interesting? Oh. You got to go get up at like O Dark 30. Oh, yeah. I remember it was like four in the morning, I'm driving there, and I was like, why am I awake and like ready to go? <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah, it was dark. Yeah. <laughs> it was awesome. Like getting the voice ready and everyone was like complaining about their hands being too cold because they had to play their instruments. But I mean, when it got down to it, oh, yeah. pulled it's, uh, through. Yeah. And Chris and Greg are great people. I, oh, yeah. I got to do a show with them once and it was just, they made me feel at home and... Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're really cool. Was, you know, and if you play Dylan, Greg will play with you. <laughs> for days. He exactly. loves Dylan. And yeah, no, they were awesome when we were down there, so... Cool. It was fun. Uh, yeah. So, you guys are still in high school? You, you uh, from Las Gatas? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kihila, Jewish High School in Palo Alto. Very cool. And Patrick. Same as Jeff, Kihila. Okay. Yeah. And Scotts Valley. Scotts Valley. Lovely, lovely place. I just did a session up in Scotts Valley last week. It was nice. I tell you what, um, you guys are much more better looking than I, and you sing better. <laughs> Why don't we do another cool. song real quick, Sweet, and then we yeah. can talk some more. Awesome. Thanks, man. Come together. Chew out 
come together right now and over me. He made good action, he got worried, come food. nice thank you okay Jeff what was that thing you were doing there with the tube uh, <laughs> what tube <laughs> what tube no actually you know what I bought this a guitar showcase well, too. and we're very glad that you did <laughs> especially that you use it for those at home that are wondering uh, we used to call them talk boxes back in the day yep. way before you guys were even thought of uh, <laughs> and Peter Frampton sure. Jeff Beck uh, a guy named Alvino Ray actually was the guy who created it back in the 50s. He played the talking steel guitar. Huh. So a little bit of history. There you go. <laughs> uh, other bit of history, The Who Sell Out was an album, and in the middle of it they had, it was, the whole album was like a radio show. Yeah. And they had a guy going Wednesday with a guitar and a talk box. The talk box. Kind of trippy. Yeah. But well, very cool. It's really fun to mess around with, too. Yeah, and, and uh, the new versions where they have their own amplifier are much safer. The old versions, you'd get a 100 watt Marshall through that and guys lost teeth. Oh my God. Yeah. Awesome. So <laughs> you got the right version. So you guys are playing, you've played a couple of tunes from before you were born. Yeah. yeah. I suspect before your mothers were born. Why did you guys pick this material? No. Why, why not the current no I mean, uh, music? <laughs> Uh, well, I know, I know for me, and I think the whole band, like, I, we feel like classic rock is sort of where everything, like, originated, where it was really good, really original, just a, awesome songs, like, both instrumentally and vocally, so. Yeah, there's a, a lot of nice changes. Yeah. Uh, mo melodic lines. Awesome. Yeah. So. And just the thought process behind it all is just really. Yeah, but Beatles awesome. and um, Stevie. Stevie. Yeah. Stevie, yeah. which was a bit of trivia. That was the song when he was in an accident. He was in a coma for about two, three weeks, yeah. I forget. And one of his partners came in and sang, you know, Keep On Trying, and he popped up. Wow. So it's a powerful song. Oh. It's the magic of music. Well, you yeah. got to pay tribute to the masters, you know? 
Yeah, yeah, you know, give, give them their props. It's where we, you know, stole our, I mean, uh, borrowed all our good stuff. <laughs> uh, exactly. So you guys, you know, you, you've been together eight months. You do last man standing, and, and now all of a sudden, I, you know, I've seen you guys, and you're always coming to the store, getting strings, and you're off to gigging. Where are some of the places you've been playing? God. Oh, um, man, all kinds of places. Got, like, the King's Head we played at, Britannia Arms. We did a few private things, actually, after K-Fox. We got yeah. a lot of private party yeah, I like the private parties so. because they actually pay what you're worth as oh. opposed to... Oh, God, it was awesome. Yeah, they we really... just played a Christmas party and it was... <laughs> we got some we good some money. money yeah. so. <laughs> We're not going to talk about actual amounts here because <laughs> the IRS <laughs> does monitor this. Right? Oh, okay. You made a little bit on my hand. We made like $5. Yeah. yeah. And you're, uh, you've got this gig at the Catalyst, and I'm not sure if we're going to get this on the air in time to do that. Yeah, but, but on uh, uh, Thursday, so February 7th. February 7th, on, and so. we've got the website that comes up on the screen every now and again. People can go check your website. You'll keep a calendar going. Yeah. Because I'm sure this won't be the last time you're going to play the Catalyst. Hopefully not. I mean, it's such an it's an awesome venue, and I think we're going to be able to have more chances to play it. Yeah. So if yeah. you don't catch us February 7th, then uh, definitely sometime in the future. But you should try to catch us February 7th. Have you, got any, have you guys thought, done any thoughts about writing your own material? or? Yeah, we're, actually, that? yeah we're in the process of... Writing yeah. one, Jeff's got one. Kinda yeah, almost got one. finished. Brewing. So. Yeah. Cool. And uh, you're going to be doing recording. We got to do some new that? recording soon. Though. Yeah, we do. You know, I mean, we're going to give you a DVD of the show, obviously, so you have some promotional stuff. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Doing Which some is recording. Great recording in itself. In fact, uh, I thought Last Man Standing uh, Sound Tech Studios. Yeah, well, actually, you know, that was for the older categories yeah, they get. we didn't get that, but right. well, we'll we did record. we'll have to have a chat with Mr. Barry on that <laughs> there you Exactly. Go. <laughs> but we did record at Soundtech for the three demo songs that we send in, and they were yeah. awesome there. Yeah, so. it's yeah. a great studio. Yeah. I, I know Robert from Money Was Bob. Uh, <laughs> and he's doing some great things, too, which you probably may be interested in later on. Uh, we're talking about putting a battle of the bands together. Oh, um, awesome. Um, Hook us which up, is, up, dude. <laughs> yeah, well, I can't hook you up because that would be... Favoritism, and we don't. Yeah, you know, we okay. want to have a level playing field, obviously. Well, we'd love to hear about that. But uh, it's going to be an interesting program. We're trying to f come up with ways for places for people to play who can't normally get into bars. I mean, the King's Head's a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, the Catalyst is a restaurant. Yeah. So underage people can go there to listen to music, yeah. and they can perform there. But there's a lot of places. Well, actually, there aren't a lot of places, but most of the places are bars. Yeah, you know? and, it's and that's for, where usually you can promote you know. your music most, is that yeah. bars or nightclubs? When I was your age, there were, every school had a teen club, and there were just places, to like there's a place called the What's It Club, where everybody who was anybody played, <laughs> and they tore it down and put it in condominiums. I don't know why. <laughs> it's kind of silly. Um, but, uh, so, we're going to be doing that, and I think you guys should look at that, and people at home that you think you want to get in the band, I mean... These guys are really talented. I, I can't say it's uh, easy. Well, so for in, in six months, it's not likely you'll be quite this good, but you could be. Exactly. You know, yeah. a few guitar lessons, a few drum lessons, some vocal lessons, You're 20 years in the theater. Wait a minute, you haven't been in 20 years <laughs> in the theater. Uh, that's another good source of, you know, musical theater. You can learn a lot about oh, totally. music and, yeah. and how to save your throat. Big help, oh yeah. <laughs> Especially for me, it's a big help. <laughs> yeah, my daughter did that uh, uh, her junior year. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's musical awesome. theaters, yeah, yeah, really good for... Yeah. Then she stopped doing it, but... <laughs> then she stopped, but it was good for that one show. It was good yeah. for that one show. <laughs> anyway, um, I'd like to hear some more music, if I may. Yeah. I, I think we have enough for time you. for one more. I, I'm not sure how much time we got exactly. If we run at... If the show, you know, we're looking at a Dylan song here, which is normally pretty long. Mm. Everlasting but if Dylan we have song. some uh, show time left, go ahead and do kick something else off. Sure. Okay. Sounds great. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Band. Thank you so much. Get the cape on. Cape All right, let's go. Got it. 
helping hand to lend And you just want to be on the side of theirs winning And you say I let you down But you know it's not like that You're so hurt out right then Don't you show it You say you lost your faith But that's not where it's at You had no faith Very nice indeed. Thanks so much. I just remembered something else I wanted to talk about because yeah. Uh, yeah. 
Can we focus on this guitar? Can oh we get boy. a shot of the guitar? <laughs> you wanna okay. Between this one. I'm guessing it's 62, 64, somewhere in there. Oh Vintage boy. Firebird from thing. Gibson. Oh, uh, <laughs> I, wish. I wish. I uh, wish. Anyway. It's actually a 92, but. <laughs> okay, so my, but you notice that it's got Gibson humbucking pickups on it. Yeah. PAFs or some such. That's <laughs> not what this guitar came with. No, definitely not. So, friends at home, this is not an original guitar. This guy's. It sounds killer. But you cut ten grand off its value. <laughs> it's true. But I understand you didn't. You didn't do that. Yeah, though. actually, I bought it on eBay, and uh, the guy actually took the original mini, mini humbuckers out and put fifty-nine uh, Seymour Duncan's. Which so. sounds killer. Yeah, I love the tone. Yeah, and I've actually got a fifty-nine in the in the neck of my my Les Paul, and I huh. love the tone. Yeah. But it's not original. Yeah, <laughs> it's true. The traditionalist in me just like wants to slap myself in the face for getting this thing, but. It really looks cool too. I like the vintage nickel. Uh, yeah, you know, the and it sounds, it sounds wonderful. Oh, it yeah. actually sounds a little bit meatier than a, a Firebird does. Yeah. I, I had one once. Actually, I've had several guitars. <laughs> um, and talking a little bit about the vintage guitar things, it's really interesting. People are really now into it's got to be all factory original and mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And yet, one of the most expensive Stratocasters in the world, the Clapton Blackie was built out of two guitars. Oh, yeah. sure, yeah, I know. You know, Guess so that was, uh, yeah, modify it or not. Keep the originals if you can. Yep. You route it out for the big humbuckers, you're kind of stuck. Yeah, <laughs> but I mean, I got it for a good price, and I'm, you know, I, I messed around with it. I put new knobs on it. I got this little uh, surround for the, uh, the pickup selector. And uh, yeah, I'm just, you know. Just no, it, it suits you well. Thank you. Um, you got one more song for me, maybe? Yeah. Sure, yeah, sure do. Nice long one. <laughs> Would you like to be a nice long one? Yeah, let's give me lots of music. All right. Because that way they don't have to look at my ugly mug anymore. <laughs> all right, all okay, right. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Woo. All right, let's do it. Just kill it. Yeah, let's do it, right? Don't 